Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. The legacy I want for my Filipina when I die. As I promised when I made the last video called Our Philam Love Story is going to end sometime, I tried to end on a positive note that I had things I wanted to accomplish for my wife in the unknown amount of time that we had left together and I'm going to touch on that near the end of this video. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea for perspectives and help for a foreigner who is interested in marrying a Filipina and please join me if you are married to a Filipina but I think I will uh, convey information that would be of help to anyone looking for a wife. Go ahead and leave a comment get notifications for future videos. I do have goals for my marriage that will leave a legacy for my Filipina wife. I am probably the first person in my wife's life who thinks um, way ahead. I tell her I am a man and we tend to think about the future, especially if we are married. Would you agree? My wife and I have been married since May of 2015 and we want to retire in the Philippines after I turn 62. <coughs> Pardon me if I make it that long. I suppose it's just this dumb cough. I suppose you could call that the start of the golden years, a term I have never really liked. I married my wife in Davao City, Philippines when I was 53. Could we get 20 years together? I don't know. I sure hope so. That would blow my mind considering how difficult it was to actually find a wife. Even if I died today, there has been enough time to leave her some kind of a legacy, but with more time, an even better one. Now, <coughs> here are four quotes that define the legacy I am talking about. Maybe you know some of these people, maybe you don't. The first one uh, by someone named Benjamin Disraeli. He says, the legacy of heroes is the memory of a great name and the inheritance of a great example. So what kind of example do I want to leave my Filipina? One would be unselfishness. From the time we got married until the end of it, I want my wife to remember that I went out of my way for her sake to be unselfish and put her needs above my own. I want her to know how it feels to do that and how it feels to believe the good she will do for others for the rest of her life. Because um, I do want to leave a legacy for her in that way. Another thing is to be generous. I want my wife to know when all she has is her memories of us that I always encourage her to be generous to others and that I was always generous to her. I have told her God blesses the generous and that's what I want for her. Who knows, she may have another 25 years left after I die. I want to be sure the time we spent together will make a difference in her life and the life of others in the Philippines. Another one by someone named William James. The great use of life is to spend it for something that will outlast it. What I want is that at some point in some point my wife will begin to have a long-range view of life that includes her service to others. I want her to leave this world well thought of, to make a mark in the world, to impact her family and friends. I want her at some point to consider the legacy that she will leave behind. <coughs> Pardon me, I tell her she should use her gifts and abilities to help others in the church, anywhere. I want her to trust God, to know his word, and to do his will. I believe that will result in a blessed life. Another one here I like from Lionel Richie, as it is pop-up time now on the computer. Lionel Richie said, I think the whole world is dying to hear someone say, I love you. I think that if I can leave the legacy of love and passion in the world, then I think I've done my job in a world that's getting colder and colder by the day. Lionel Richie. You can always count on something uh, good from Lionel Richie. My wife has heard I love you a ton of times and I'm not going to let up with that. What if she had not married me? What if she married someone who wasn't as concerned about her? I agree with Lionel Richie that the world is getting colder and colder. Has he watched Philippines YouTube vloggers lately? When it's time for me to go, I don't want there to be any doubt that she married someone who loved her very much 
despite knowing her for such a short time before we got married. If you're not familiar, that um, was like seven weeks and five days. In those early days, I knew I wanted to love her at the end of my life. I want her to know just how much I did. The fourth and final quote here from Shannon L. Alder. Carve your name on hearts, not tombstones. A legacy is etched into the minds of others and the stories they share about you. This YouTube channel, Love Beyond the Sea, is about my wife and I both finding love beyond the sea. We had to take risks and were separated by 9,800 flight miles, yet were able to find each other. I made the first move by joining Christian Filipina on March 13th of 2015, and 59 days later, we were husband and wife. That's a story in itself for her to tell others about us. I want to be on her mind after I am gone. I want there to be reminders she can see about us, such as this channel, the house in the Philippines we built, and the many photos and videos of us together. Now I want our marriage to be more to her than just a foreign man marrying a woman from the Philippines. That happens all the time. People get married all the time. If I hadn't decided to try international dating, I wouldn't have been able to leave her a legacy through our marriage or to help her to leave a legacy of her own. I want to have an impact in her life long after I am gone. I started teaching her how to drive in the Philippines before she immigrated and then after she arrived. And she is able to drive in the Philippines now too, which amazes me. Amazes me. She is excellent with directions. <coughs> Pardon me. She drives herself to work. She has driven friends and family around in two countries. Who knows how she's going to use her driving ability long after I'm gone. I'm not sure what kind of an effect her working and living here in America will have on her long term, but I am eager for everyone in her life to find out. I'm excited for how she parlays all her experiences here for the rest of her life. We have multiple properties in the Philippines, and it has been suggested to her that perhaps she would enjoy and be good at being a real estate agent in the Philippines. Now, I like that idea because she could make 5% on all the land and property she helps sell, and she could do this in her 30s. 40s, 50s, and 60s. You may, may ask, why in the world would she want to do this when she won't have to work for a second when we retire there? But she wants to have some kind of a job when there. She always has said that to me. And I want to help her accomplish that. Something um, where she is her own boss and it isn't physically demanding. A long time ago, I saw Garth Brooks in concert twice in like three days. Now, I ended up memorizing about 50 of his songs. I'm not recommending all these songs to everyone, but um, I really like the concert. Um, as you know, he um, used to be able to put on a heck of a show. Well, one of them I liked was his very first number one hit called, you know what, If Tomorrow Never Comes. Back then, having a wife was beginning for me to seem unlikely to happen. The words mean something different to me now um, and I, that I am married. And um, I'll just go through the chorus real quick. If tomorrow never comes, will she know how much I loved her? Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one? And if my time on earth were through and she must face the world without me, is the love I gave her in the past going to be enough to last if tomorrow never comes? Some say your Filipino was okay before you met her. She'll be okay when you're gone. That's not good enough for me. I'm not interested in okay. And I'm not interested in leaving her the way I found her. <coughs> I could be a better husband. I can influence her physically, emotionally, and spiritually better over time. More time if I can have it. I want her to think to herself, what would I have done if I hadn't found him? That's because I want her life to be better and more satisfying because I had been in it. In the next video in this series, I will consider if it is worth marrying a Filipina later in life. I am just glad that today I had one more day with my love beyond the sea.